gonna go kill us a big old giant tuna. Anything could happen. Expect anything. Around here, it seems like nobody catches more blue fins than Pauly Stern. Like all captains, he's allowed three giant tuna per trip, and he's used to bringing home his quota. Biggest thrill of life. I saw my first one when it was nine, and I'm still seeing them. It's all I want to do. I'm headed out to legendary Still Wagon Bank. See if we can't make a withdrawal from it. Stellwagen Bank is where Pauly caught a 975-pound bluefin before the storm. It brought him more than $10,000, a nice payoff for a tuna, whose price depends on quality and demand. Fishing bluefin is Pauly's life, and his custom boat is ready for anything. He's got 30 years of knowledge built into this boat. It's a fish-killing machine. I feel like Rambo out here, in charge of it all. I'd much rather be out here on the ocean than home on land. This is where I'm in control. I've had all kinds of mates, convicted murderers, drug addicts, broken down accountants. I don't pick them, they pick me. We give them all a test. As soon as you slap, you're out. Hey, Rich. Look at this. I mean, this is ridiculous. A little rough. Nah, I don't apologize for nothing I did. It ain't gonna happen again, because if it happens twice, you're gone. If I'm not having a good time on my boat, you're not fishing on it. There's a thousand and six things that could go wrong. You get cut off by another fish, a whale runs into the line. Shark eats the bait that slid up the leader. Here we go, Fort Florida, Rich! Fort Florida! Crank that, just crank, wind it up, Richie, that's all, just wind it up. The first 30 seconds of the bite is everything. So that's when you're gonna tangle your other lines, get up onto the boat. You gotta be paying attention. You good? Watch it, watch it, Rich! Come on, Richie! What the f***? Nice. Congratulations. What do you think went wrong there, Rich? It was out of gear. Didn't swing it around. I didn't swing right. it around fast enough. Yeah. Well, we ain't, you know, we ain't out here to f practice. The fish just swam under the boat and cut off under the boat, 15 feet away from being dead. The agony of defeat. Uh, it's lost income. That's like taking down payment of a new truck and throwing it out the window. It's a lot of money quick, gone. Guys like Carmine are a pain in the ass. They're clueless. They're just totally clueless. They look for somebody they know. Says, oh, he catches fish, and they come in and they anchor right on top of you. They got a 1,000 yards of line out, yelling to get off your ball. Tough. Not happening. Some days you're hot, and some days you're not. That's what I see in this game. Yeah, nah, so far it's just a shot. 300 pound poor beagle. Go, Fort Florida, Rich! Fort Florida! Come on, Andy, it. Yeah, we're tangled. You shouldn't have done that. We're trying to catch the tuna that's on the end of our line. It's bigger than me. That's big. I think it's bigger than me. The sandwich I had last night was bigger than you. Get ready for the gift. It's coming right up. Huh? Reach down, Rich. Reach down. Reach down. Reach down. Come on. You gotta get. Anything could happen. Fish is trying for his last bit of. Last bit of breath. It's not a very big fish. It sucks to wait that long for that little piece of crap. The one I caught last week could have ate that one. Pretty much a minimal keeper. 250-pound fish. 
It still has tears in his eye. Oh, if he was 200 pounds bigger, he'd almost be a tuna. I slip out when everyone else is out partying for the fish they caught last night. I'm halfway to the grounds, leaving my competition behind. I want to kill tuna. Tuna is my eye. Somewhere out there, there's a big fat one with my name on him. Sooner or later, he'll find us. The guy who'd come in there and take a fish out from under us is stealing from me. We don't like them. They got jobs and big fancy boats. They're just out here for fun. The only difference between a sport fishing guy and a commercial guy is a sport he has a camera. You want to catch big fish, you need a big hook. That's a hook. Here we go, far floater, Rich! Far floater! It was a real fish, you didn't have to measure it. It was three, four, five hundred pound plus. Wind him up! What's that one? You gotta be kidding me. He's off. I give up. Done. That one's broke, chewed off, disintegrated, leader broke. Would you give me a couple of minutes? All right? It went away. That's what happened to it. Everybody happy? Disappointed? No, I love staying out here throwing money away. It's great. It's just awesome. We're just out here to let them go. I'm just trying to go slow and steady. Where's that gaff? First light and last light. Right as the moon rises or falls is generally the best. When the rod bends over and the sound comes out, that's the alarm. Fish whistle. Right off the get-go. Take them or break them. I've seen them break the ropes. I even lost a friend who got tied up in the harpoon line. Fish is trying for his last bit of breath that's coming out. It's going to try to hurt you. Just going for the bleed spot right under his pec fin. You hit that, they're hurting him. Got him. Yeah, Richie. Yeah, down right here. Look down, we got him. Get a good shot. Got him. Yeah. Nice. They bleed out pretty quick. Five gallons of blood comes out in 30 seconds. Battle's over. Go. I'm going over your head. I'm going over your head. All right. All right. All right, Richie, I got him. Yeah. Got him. Yeah, baby. There you go. That one's a little bigger. Yeah, baby. As long as you get a tail rope to the cleat, it's fine. He'll die slow. This is the upside. Is that the right way? The way it is. Right. That's not the upside, Rich. It's the downside. Now spin it around. The dot goes on the floor. It's 50 fish. We don't know the difference yet. No hot dates. Doing what I do. Back into my favorite town of Gloucester. Unload this fish to a favorite fish crook and hope he can save this trip. Maybe we'll get a good price on a low volume. What's up, boys? There's really no discussion you get what you get. You hit the market when you hit it, and it is what it is. 100 pound fish are small, we're looking to catch real ones. Another 200 pounds, it'd be a tuna. Oh, well, we got the fuel covered. 